Hey guys, today we're looking at another VPN and today it's Hide My Ass VPN. So overall, when I was testing this on the PC, I was incredibly impressed. I had amazing speeds and I only lost speed of about 9%. So I was on 150 megabit per second connection as well, which is pretty fast and I only lost 9% of that when using the VPN. However, when I've switched to Android, the Android application that they offer does seem to be very poor at picking the closest server for me and it's resulting in much much bigger speed losses so for those of you that don't know what a VPN is, it's a virtual private connection and a lot of people are worried about letters going out from ISPs at the moment for streaming and downloading torrents. If you use a VPN, they won't know what you're doing so you definitely won't receive those letters. Other advantages of VPNs are geolocked content. So if there's content that is for USA only that I want to access, I can just use a USA server on my VPN. That content will then think I'm in the USA and allow me to watch it. Another great advantage is you can browse the web and any blocked sites won't be blocked for you. It's the ISPs blocking the sites and when you go through a VPN you won't have the sites blocked. So first things first I need to test my speed without the use of any VPNs and we'll see what connection I've got at the moment. The area I'm in the speed does vary from time to time depending on if it's peak times and if not many people are using it. So I'm going to test now just to see and then we'll go straight into the speed test. So as you can see 157 megabits per second so hopefully the VPN would get at least close to that however as I said earlier I'm finding the hide my ass Android application really does let it down for those of you that know what you're doing you could maybe use the open VPN app to fix that instead of using their own application you could use open VPN application but really they should have it nice and easy to use from the start so if we open up hide my ass VPN I'll show you what I mean so we go into the settings in the top left go into settings you've got the normal useful settings so connect to VPN on launch and launch app on startup so you can enable either one of these or both of these to make your Kodi box automatically connect to the VPN as soon as you turn it on or you could just have connect to VPN on launch where when you launch the application it will connect to the VPN so I like what they've done here and made it nice and simple for people to use it's just a shame it's not working I don't know if it's just for me testing at the moment or if it's not working at all but if I go into locations and try and manually pick my location again it's quite frustrating to scroll through the list so I, the search function doesn't seem to work too well as it won't let me then pick the location but when I go down to United Kingdom I'm currently in the United Kingdom so when I go down to UK if I click the arrow that lets you choose servers I've got three servers for London and I know full well that this actual VPN has more servers than that in the United Kingdom when I use the application on my PC which I'll be showing you at the end of this video you'll see I get much more choice and it works much better so I could pick either one of those or if we go back to the main screen they have made it simple with this help me choose button so for a lot of you this will hopefully work but for me it really isn't working well at all so secure my connection when I press this it's meant to look for the best server and as you can see it's found London given me the postcode there so I'm just gonna press connect and connect to this server in London we will then go to the speed test and see how well it performs as you can see, my IP address has now changed. I'm successfully connected to the VPN. If I back up to the home screen, I just need to reset my speed test to make sure it does find the closest server. So if we go over to my speed tester, clear the data, clear the cache, it should then reset the speed test for me. So now when I open it, it should look for the best server again. And as you can see, it is. So we'll see what effect this has on my speed very disappointing the test I did earlier seeing as it performed so well on the PC and I was hoping it was going to be the same on Android so as you can see my connection has now dropped to below 40 megabits per second as I started on 150 that is a huge speed loss 35 megabits per second I personally would think that's very unacceptable and I wouldn't use that so unfortunately it didn't work very well for me but for some of you it may actually work for anyone who is interested in the service all you have to do is go to www.toptutorials.co.uk forward slash hide my ass vpn the link for that is down in the description as well to sign up you just you just click this link here and it will take you to the page where you need to sign up it's $11.52 for a month 
$49.99 for six months, which works out at $8.33 a month, or $78.66 for 12 months, which works out at $6.55 a month. You can see I've also got downloads for Android, Windows, Mac, and iOS, so you can click any of these links and it will take you to the downloads. If you're on an Android device and you click download for Android, it will automatically take you to the Play Store, or you can just open up the Play Store and download it from there. You can also scroll down and you can see it says click here. If you click this link, it will take you to the page where it shows you where all of their servers are in all of the different countries. So it didn't work very well for Android for me. It may be different for you, but I'm just going to show you the difference on the PC and show you what speeds I can actually get. So as you can see, I'm now running the Hide My Ass Pro VPN application on Windows using my PC. And the great thing about this one is instant mode does seem to pick the fastest location. And you've also got location mode. So if I go into change location, you'll see if I scroll through the list and go down to United Kingdom, I do actually have more options on here. So UK Berkshire is the closest server to me. So if I click on this one, Click connect and we'll let it find the best connection and connect to the VPN and previously when I tested this I had fantastic download speeds using the VPN so I'll just quickly fast forward this while it connects. So now we can go ahead and test what speeds we get using the VPN so again I click to begin the test it will find the server and begin the test. As you can see, I've got a low ping and a download speed of 150, probably about 160 megabits per second it's going to end up on. So using the PC, it's a fantastic VPN and I can get great results from it. Using the Android app, I'm having no luck at all, but unfortunately I cannot test from other locations. So it may just be me and of course you may be able to use something like OpenVPN application. Or for those of you that want to run it through your router, it's going to be fine. But the Android app does seem to be very lacking at choosing locations. And for me, that was causing a big problem. I don't know if it will cause a problem for you. But unfortunately, because of that, I cannot recommend this VPN for Android. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at TopTutorialsUK.